I used this stuff on my hair and it said you don't have to put bleach in your hair or anything like that. It'll automatically just show up in your hair. And that's the hair collar that it talks about. Sorry about the mess. This stuff literally messes up everything. It even stains the sink and bathtub and plus your hands. I had all over my face. My ear is still on my ear barely. And still got a lot on my, let's see. I can find it there it is all over my scalp it itches as it can be so I've been putting a lot of shampoo in it and I washed it this is the second wash it says you can wash it out 30 washes so yeah I got a long time now but it looks a whole lot better but this morning when I got up Oh my god, my pillow was solid blue. My side of my face was blue. I'm like, oh, this is not supposed to happen. I used hair color before. This has never happened in my life. So, if y'all want to use some of this, I, I would rethink and be careful on this because it comes out. Even you got it not wet. And your hands are not even wet. It will literally get on anything. No matter what. So. Just a little bit of. Things about this. It comes off very easily. And I. I really like the blue. But the blue don't show up as much not unless you get really close to the light and I'm getting more blue on my hands but yeah just a little bit touch of your hand just going on to your hair just getting it out of your face you can't even do that so if it rains and I'm outside and I don't have an umbrella I'm gonna get blue on anything so don't go for stuff it comes out with water too easily but they do have some, I think, some of the other one different from this one that is literally will stay in your hair more longer than this. It will be a permanently hair collar, but I didn't go for that, and I'm glad I didn't. Because I'm a bonnet, and this is a little bit on the different side. I'm just a little freaked out about the idea of it coming out of your hair onto your skin and it, it stains it. It's very hard to get off. Lily, very hard to get off. So, a little bit of some soap seems to get off a little bit but it's still, your skin still has a little bit of some blue. So, yeah. I should have done more research on this, but like I said, I never had this problem before, so I'm just warning everybody if they decide to try this, this is what they will be getting themselves into, so, and I use a little bit too much in my hair also that I realized, since I got short hair, not to put too much in there, and I did, and I still got a whole bunch left in this, but... I'm not thinking about reusing or nothing because uh, this is just not good in my book. So I got to sleep with a, a net thing in my hair tonight where my pillow won't get messed up. So yeah, still got a few more washes to go and hopefully I can get my scalp to quit itching so bad. It itches so bad with this stuff so if anybody knows what to do about this unless my scalp is dry from using this 
I don't know. But what I usually use for my hair is this stuff. Since I had washed my hair, well, colored my hair in this brand before, so I've been using this to help me with my hair color. But this is the first time my scalp ever itch so bad since I used this other stuff. So, yeah, I I don't know. I, I don't know if I damage my hair. I hope I didn't. I really pray I didn't. But if anybody knows on what to do with your scalp itching so badly after you use this kind of hair collar, I'd be glad to know what to do about it. So... Thank you for watching my video, and I'm hoping I'll put some more out there soon of things I get myself into. So, if anybody wants to see more things that I get myself into, just comment down below and see if you want to see all that or not. So, bye.